Hi, welcome to this Expert Talk feature highlight video. My name is Erwin, and in this video, I will show you how to create and use datasets in Expert Talk Smartflows for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Expert Talk Smartflows is available as an app on the Dynamics 365 home screen. I can log into it with my Dynamics credentials or with my native Expert Talk user credentials. When I log in, I land on a welcome screen from where I can go to my configuration, to recent items, or any place else like datasets, templates, flows, assets, whatever. In this case, I want to go to the dataset section and create a new dataset. So I'm going to create a dataset that collects data from the quote entity in Dynamics 365 and some other related entities. Now to do that, I create a standard dataset. You can also create a custom dataset and a schema dataset, but I'll come back to that in a minute. So I start off by finding my primary entity to start from, and I can actually search for that as well. So there you go, and that creates my dataset, and then I'm gonna take it to the builder. Um, so I have my primary entity in here, and I can choose which fields to include or exclude. I can select all fields or unselect all fields, or I can search for specific fields, like for instance, the due date of my quote. I can include many to one relationships, like the potential customer, and select the account underneath uh, that, um, or my quote contact, which is a custom lookup that I have over here, and select the underlying contact entity. So there you go. And of course, I can go uh, into the one to many relationships as well, and for instance, include the quote line items. And then I can choose which fields I want from my quote lines and pick up further relationships like the actual product entity underneath the existing product relationship. So once I have all the fields and related tables I need, I can go and create a sample. And a sample is basically a Dynamics record that I will be able to use to test my templates that I create with the template builder in Microsoft Word. Cool thing is that my sample will automatically update when I make changes to this record. Okay, next up I'm going to create a dataset that will automatically render to a form with questions that will ask the end user during flow execution. Now, to ask questions for my quote, I'll create a custom dataset. If you were familiar with Experito, this is more or less the concept of dynamic fields. If you are familiar with ExpertTalk Portal, this is more or less the concept of smart forms, albeit a bit more limited. But we'll be adding the full-blown smart forms as a dataset option pretty soon as well. So in the dataset builder, you can create fields for your custom dataset. Give the field a name, a description, and choose a field type. I'll go for the rich text text box here, and I'll add the description after creation of the field. Let's add another field to ask the end user whether or not he or she wants to include a section in the document that contains product descriptions for, a quote, for the quoted products. That's going to be a true-false field, and we'll set the field to be true by default here. And then we'll also add an option set question here to let the end user choose the short, medium or long version of the terms and conditions section in the document. So I can add options now, and for each option, choose a value and the label. The labels of the options will be shown to the end user and the values will be available to define conditional sections in the template builder. And we'll select the long version here as the default option. You can also create samples for your custom datasets. So you can actually test your templates uh, for the different user input scenarios. I'll just add two scenarios here, one where the user provides a value for the alternative first paragraph and also includes the product descriptions and goes for the short version of the terms and conditions. And then I'll also add a second scenario where there is no value for the alternative first paragraph, uh, no inclusion of the product descriptions, and we'll also go for the short version here of the terms and conditions. So you can actually type that out in the description field right here. And there's a third type of dataset that you can use to collect data with Expertalk Smartflows, and that is the so-called schema dataset. 
A schema dataset lets you collect data from data sources outside of Microsoft Dynamics 365, such as an ERP system or a product data management system or a CPQ system, and combine that data with your Dynamics 365 data and your user-provided data. To define the structure of a schema dataset, you simply upload an XML schema definition file and then indicate which table in the XSD will be the root element of your dataset. The idea is that we will launch a web service call from a flow to get XML data that corresponds to the XSD. So I have a schema definition file on my local file system here that describes the structure of product data in a product data management application. And as I upload the file, you can see that ExpertDoc SmartFlows recognizes the structure of the different tables in my XSD file. So I can see the fields and the relationships much in the same way like, in, like I can see those things for a standard data set with Dynamics 365 data. I can also create sample records to test the templates that use this schema dataset. For that purpose, I can upload an XML file that corresponds to the data structure defined by my XSD file. Okay, so now we have three different datasets. Let's go on and create a single template that makes use of all three datasets. I'll give the template a name and I'll add my datasets. As you can see, you can associate multiple datasets with one template. I'll add a standard dataset that collects quote data and related data from Dynamics 365. I'll also add the custom dataset that will ask for user input during the document generation flow. And I'll add the schema dataset that will retrieve external data via a web service call. So when I switch to Microsoft Word and open this new template in the Expert Doc Template Builder, you'll see that all three datasets are available. Now the first time I open the template for editing, the builder is asking me what I want to use as a starting point. I'll just go for a blank document this time. And there you go. All three datasets are available and I can now start mapping field. When we take it back to the console, I can create a flow now that end users will be able to run from their Dynamics 365 records. So let me give the flow a name and if I want, I can pre-select a number of output steps that I want to include in my new flow. But for now, I'll leave those blank and just create the flow. So as you can see, our flow will start from Microsoft Dynamics 365, ask questions to the end user to populate the custom dataset, it will then retrieve quote data from Microsoft Dynamics 365 to populate the standard dataset, and it will launch a request to a REST-based web service to collect the external product data in order to populate the schema dataset. So that's basically how data from multiple sources, either from a turnkey connector like the Microsoft Dynamics 365 connector, or from user input during the document generation process, or from external systems, can all flow together into one resulting document.